All right, so this whole section is going to be about files, so manipulating files, adding data to files, reading off files, and so on. So I just want to touch base on the subject, and again, it won't take too long, hopefully max five or six lectures, and we'll just cover how you can use Python to manipulate such files. So the first thing we need to do before we even talk about all this Python stuff with files is we have to create a file. So most of you should know how to create a file, and if you do, just skip ahead, go ahead and create a very simple text file, and make sure you know what the file name is and then you can just go ahead and see the next lecture otherwise just stick with me and we'll create a very simple file so if you're on a Mac you need to open text edit as you can see I have text edit open up right now opened up right now so what you can do is you can hit command tab on your keyboard and search for text edit and then all you have to do is open it up and it will open it up like this now if you're in a Windows machine what you have to do is well on the left hand side of your screen if you're using Windows 7 you're gonna click the Windows icon and search for notepad or if you're on Windows 8 you're gonna say command s okay or it's not command I'm sorry Windows key plus s and what that will do is it'll open up the search bar on the right hand side and that's where you can search for notepad or whatever um, text editor you're using and once you open it up the procedure for creating the file will actually be quite similar so I again am on my text edit and over here this is looking fantastic so just go ahead and enter a few lines of text anything you want so this is a python file okay um uh what else can you say python is a fantastic language fantastic language and let's do one more sentence um let's say um anything you want so mac os is a fantastic os maybe if you're a windows fan you can do windows however these are three lines that we've written in our file i'm going to go ahead and save this so command s if you're on a windows then it's file save as or control s and it's going to ask me hey what do i want to save it as so windows people should be doing the exact same thing as i am save as and then i'm going to save it as um test file and I'm saving it in my documents and instead of file format instead of rich text document I want to save it as .txt so right now as you can see I don't have the option as .txt so the way we can change it into .txt is make plain text okay so if you're on a Mac right now please make sure you do this go to format make plain text and now we can save this as a text file so as you can see it's now uni unicode utf8 test file and I'm saving it in my documents for Windows again you'll do control s file save as and then go ahead give it a name of test file and make sure the extension is .txt and then save it fantastic so now you've created your um, text file and in the next lecture we'll go ahead and learn about reading all files